Hey, it's me, Pro Jared. Welcome back to Magic the Gathering Chandelar. I did a little more deck tweaking in between episodes here. Uh, main one being, uh, I took out the Royal Elemental, which the game was actually, like, not letting me do. Every time I took the Royal Elemental out, it would just put it back in whenever I made any other adjustments, so I had to, <laughs> I had to like, wrestle with that for a while. So I took this out, mostly because its ability isn't working properly. Anytime I trigger the landfall, I'm not gaining control of a target creature. So I'm basically playing six mana for a 3-2 flyer, half that mana being three blue sources, and that's way too difficult to do. So I took that out. Um, I also took out an aura somewhere, brought in an extra swamp because I have so much double black cost, and uh, swapped out the Royal Elemental for the Stronghold Zeppelin because it's a two blue blue, and that's a three three flyer, so it can at least attack in as hard as the Royal Elemental. It can only block other flyers, but that's okay. I can still be at least a little more aggressive with that and help me close out games. And that's just way more useful than this 3-2 flyer that just doesn't work. In fact, I'm going to sell him. Yeah, let's go sell him. I don't need this. Where do you go? Royal Elemental, how much do you sell for? 170? Done. Piece of shit. Get the cash. Uh, I think I really just need to... I need to start really building up money so I can buy... Mostly land cards. Like, I want to get a, a, a lot of land cards so I can actually start making uh, a solid base of cards. I also need to save some cities. Ah, they're dead. That's fine. So. Hello, Priestess. Oh, you want my murder? Oh, you want my murder? <laughs> uh, what's my hand looking like? Four mana, the Cadaver Imp. Uh, of all my lands I got, not one is a plane to so play like the two creatures in there. That's not quite good enough. I'm going to mulligan that. Uh, we got two lands. Stronghold Zeppelin, Triskelion, Cadaver Imp. The Sildevi, Steam Beast. Well, I don't want to go lower. So, of course that keep. Even though not good. Hey, we got the Swamp. Tight. Um, you know, ooh, with the divination, perfect. Did it change my art for divination? I don't think this is the art that I had before, was it? I don't like this art. Yeah, let's go divination, draw two extra cards. Don't really like, gear down to two cards, but four lands up, plus fortified area. Which kind of says to me, you're going to be playing a lot of uh, walls. And I do, I want to play out this Zeppelin, but I worry about him destroying it somehow. Like a sword of plowshares is a very real threat. Um, I'm going to try to awkwardly play around it. Uh, Sedelby Steam Beast. He can come out, who cares? Goes Wall of Swords. Oh, and it's flying too. Shit. That's a bummer. Well, Triskelion. Plus one, plus one, so it's a four, five flyer? Or sorry, yeah, because it's plus one, plus oh. Might need to attack into it, see if he blocks and use Triskelion to finish off the Wall of Swords. Brilliant Halo gets plus one, plus two, and anytime it's put into the battle, into the graveyard, the Brilliant Halo comes back. Well, you put two on there? Nice. What's the plan now, Jared? That is a 6-9. What is my plan? I don't know. Remuisian Captain. 2-2 two, two first strike, you can search your library for a rebel card. I see, I see a lot of these rebel cards, I'm not familiar with that. Oh yeah, well, but I play, if I play my own Wall of Swords, I got this force spike that I'll probably never end up using. You activate it? Oh, cast it right away. Oh no, you just get another one out. It goes onto the battlefield? Oh, okay. Let's see. I can play Murder's Red Cap and kill one.
Yeah, let's do that. Start killing creatures. Activates it again to get a third one out. I get it. How can I get past them? I think I just need to go big boys. And try to set them up for blocks that I can punish them with. Like, Golgari Long Legs is not the most exciting thing in the world. Blessing? Oh, you can pay one white mana to give it plus one, plus one until end of turn. And you can just activate that as much as you want. I get it. Jesus Christ, all the room. Huh, okay. Um. What's the best way to do this here? I, I have in my head there is a there is a line to take out the wall of swords. It just takes out a lot of mana. Okay, I need to deal nine damage. Um, with Triskelion, there's three. If this dies, that's four. I play Cadaver and return Triskelion. Play it again. Do another three. That's seven total. Actually, not quite enough. So I might need to like throw a creature into it. And see if that's, um... Because nothing regenerates, at least, and he is out of mana. How much mana do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need one more. I don't want to play that until I have just one more land. Ivory Cup. That's some game life, that's fine. I do... You're a flyer? I do worry about how many creatures are coming down, though. Okay. There's the swamp. Alright, so... What's the best way to do this? I think if I just... Um... I gotta start doing something here. Attack with those creatures. You'll gain life because I'm attacking with Sedelvi Steam Beast, but that's fine. Perfect. This is what I wanted. They're using the Wall of Swords to block their Gargari long legs. Perfect, per perfect. Okay, okay, okay. Let me double check other things. Um These will trade out. These will trade out. These will trade out. You don't have any mana to activate the blessing, so those all die. Ye Yep. Wait, are you first strike? These are first strike. Fuck. Um. So, that's okay, because I actually want that to die. Hold on, I gotta do some math. Cadaver, it allows me to choose, right? Yeah, okay. So... Five murder cap comes back, deals four plus three. He'll be able to put the brilliant hails onto the others, which sucks, but that's okay. Maybe I, I, I forgot, Stress Kelly can't remove plus one plus one counters until it dies, unless I use the murder's red cap to kill it afterwards and then play it again, which gets me three more counters. This, this is a very complex line of attack here. But I think taking out that wall of swords is the best way to go and try to get in with flyers. Like, I got Razorfoot Griffin still. Those first strikers are rude. Okay. Um, I can pay to regenerate, which might as well. Okay, so this is the murderous red cap coming back and dealing one damage to what? I'm gonna do it to the wall of swords. So now the wall of swords has six damage on it. I can activate Triskelion. Put it on the Wall of Swords. Uh, please. Please. 
Um, please. Please work and let me do this. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna be really upset. Kinda need this to work. Um, Triskelion. Wall of Swords. Wall of Swords. There it goes. Again. Whoop. Two. One more. Three. Bow, bow, bow. There. Your big flyer is dead. With that, I could actually play Cadaver Imp and get back. The Zeppelin. Zeppel no, I'd rather have Triskillian die, play Triskillian again, and start pinging out plus one, plus one counters. Okay. Yep, goes Brilliant Halo. Cast Brilliant Halo. Attacks with a 4 6, which will block the Triskillian. Because I want you to die. Angelic Wall, 0 4 flying. Fucking goddamn it. Another fire. That's fine. I can work with that too. Oh! The Godhead of Awe. All of the creatures of base power and toughness 1 1. Which sounds great. Until you realize that they got all these, like, buffs over here. So this would just be a, like a 3-5? Yeah, you'd still be a 3-5. That's a lot. Making everything else into 1-1s, one though. And returning Triskelion allow me to just go pew 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 and take a lot of them down. And I could just chump block this for days, use my regenerator. I, I actually think I like that line more. Now, if I play God of it all, the Murder's Red Cap will die, because he's got a minus one, minus one counter on it. So bring it down to one, one. And then the minus one, minus one kills it. Uh, yeah, we'll go with this. All right, Red Cap is dead. I can attack with... I actually can attack with the... Uh, Griffin, because it has first strike. And the Matenda Herder, because it has flanking. Oh, you blocked the wall. The first strike killed it. How generous of you. Yay. All right. Uh, I have four lands left. I'm going to keep mana up to block regenerate the Steam Beast. No attacks? <laughs> yep, my turn. Swamp. Uh, cast Cadaver Imp. I'm gonna grab back Triskelion. Except. I can play Triskelion. <laughs> now, if that was weird about him. Well, he like, gets base one once. Never mind, he's fine. I can then activate. Pew! Piece of shit. Please. Please. Get up. Hello? Please? Good. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and kill you right away too. I don't give a fuck. And then I can go to combat with pretty much everyone. And what, block with the Wall of Swords? Because who cares? They have one card left in their hand. There's five damage. Let's go for six. Bring you down to nine. There we go. You attack back. I've only got one swamp up, so I can just block with the cadaver imp. You can die. Oh, Elder Sandworm. Whenever it blocks, it loses defender. It's a 1-1 sandworm. I can also just pew and kill it. Which if I do that, can I get in for lethal? Four. Five. Six. Seven. Mm, not quite. Do I still have good ground attacks, though? I do. Maybe I should keep the counter on him. Island. Yep. Attack with everybody. So if the Sandworm blocks Triskelion, it'll die. If the Sandworm blocks Matenda Herder, the flanking causes it to die. So these are just free attacks. 
But she tried to block Matenda hurt her and got flanked. You're down to two. And now you have to answer like four different lines of killing you. Okay. Got a flyer. Not good enough. Pew. Oh, I even got the Pillar of the Sleepless, just in case. Did get another flyer out. I still think I got enough attacks. Yeah. Got it. Hell yeah. Uh... This Dromar's Cavern fixes all my colors. Brick of Day. Fateful hour? If you have five all your creatures get plus one plus one till the turn. If you have five or less life, they get indestructible. Or extraction. Put target enchantment on top of its owner's library. That's too narrow. But the evil green wizard taps Zephyr Shrine. Oh, I lost my mana link. Fuck. Well, that's not good. That felt like a good fight though. I was happy with that duel. Um, I'll keep it. Yeah, mulligan more. Mulligan more. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Start off with three cards. God, you suck so bad when your hand is so small. Look, Esper Stormblade. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Attack for two. Yay. Divination. Crawl Warrior. It's a 2-2 two -two and can pay 6 mana to give it plus 3, plus 3 until it's a turn. That's a lot of mana to get that off. So for now, it's basically a 2-2. Two -two. I could just murder it. The aggressive play would be to murder it and attack in for another 2, but I'd rather see what other shit he plays first. So I'm going to pass back. Oh, Iron Shell Beetle! So when it enters the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature, including himself, or perhaps onto the Crawl Warrior. So now the Crawl Warrior is a 3-3. Three, three. So now that he's done that, now I'm going to cast Murder. I probably should have gone Paralyzing Grasp. Oh well. Uh, let's play the long legs. Hi, I'm a 5-4. Oh, which pops up Dance for Stormblade. Hell yeah. Natural end, destroy target artifact or enchantment. On the Stormblade? Is he an enchantment? What? Is he an enchantment creature? Oh, he's an artifact creature. Oh. Well, the Brian now he played, spent all his mana doing that, so I'm gonna attack with a 5-4. And then I'll just... Play the Steam Beast because it's a creature that destroys that artifact and gains three life. A surprising amount of artifact hate. <gasps> but you put all these artifacts in my graveyard, so I'm a Grizzled Angler. Has a chance of activating. Also, I'll just want to paralyze your be stupid beetle forever. There. Now you got lots of enchantments to destroy your butt. Creatures you control get plus zero, plus one, and have reach. Still tap forever. Oh, no, I think I just win. Got him. Hydra Omnivore? It's an 8 8 for 6 mana. Whenever it deals combat damage to an opponent, it deals that much damage to each opponent. Well, that doesn't really help in this instance, but it is a rare that I can sell. <gasps> the Black Lotus. Oh, I know what that is. Let's take the cards. Need that cash. I have five food. A holy mantle. Plus two, plus two, and has protection from creatures? That's actually pretty good. Alright, let's sell a lot of that stuff I just got. This is dumb. Uh, that's kind of dumb. I don't think I like this. I don't think I like that one either. Corrupted Conscience. You control enchanted creature. When did I get this? Did I just forget about this? Because this card's incredibly powerful. I take one of the creatures and it gets infect? Put that in the deck. What am I doing? Take out four spike. Um 
I do like Dromar's Lair, so enter the battlefield, sacrifice it unless you return on non-lair land you control to its owner's hand. Okay, so it doesn't enter tapped. I just have to like return another land back to my hand to play this. That's fine. Put that bad boy in. Fixing. Take out planes for it. Essence feed, sell that for some money. Force spike, sell that. Dream coat, get the money off of that. Um, whenever you gain life, put two plus one plus one counters on them. That's so incredibly powerful. Find a life gain deck. I could build that around here. Crawlers worth 220? A common? I'll take the cash for now. Cash. Cash, man. Cash. Nice hat. <laughs> you like it? The Hydra Omnivore. So while an 8-8 eight, eight seems threatening without any kind of trample or evasion, it's just not that exciting. And it's no crawler, that's for sure. Okay, just sold a bunch of stuff. There we go, now I got some money. Be good on food for a while. Uh, I'm just gonna start Dragon Bell Monk. 2-2 two, two Vigilance with Prowess, that's fun. Cabria Evangel, 2-3. Whenever he or another ally enters the battlefield, you may choose a color. Allies you, you control gain protection from controls of colors at end of turn. Yeah, it's cute. Judge the Unworthy. Choose a target attacking or blocking creature. Scry 3, then reveal the top card. Deals damage equal to the converted mana cost to that creature. That's interesting. The Scry 3 is cool. Alright, take this brush each two for a mana link. Sarmal Spire. Oh. Where is that? This way, past the blue castle. Hello, Lord of the Fate. <gasps> a Sarah Angel! Yeah, Warner. Oh, how's my hand looking? Keepable enough? It might be my. I'm on the play. Okay, I'm on the play. So, if you've seen my previous playthrough of Chandelar, I was a. I really liked playing all the different Sarah Angels cards, and they're still pretty strong. And obviously there have been like a long time infamous card and just super recently in magic uh they made a sarah card so sarah of sarah's angels is now her own card and she's a planeswalker which is Awesome. I thought that was just like the coolest thing. Um, I, was, I was so happy to see that because obviously I really like Sarah and to have her like become her own like incredibly powerful card. I thought it was just that's just the coolest thing in the world to me. So I was really happy to see that. Uh, so I have some options. Let's play out the 5-4. Because this this will block and stop that 1-4. Knight's Whisper, draw two cards and lose two life. For two mana sorcery? That's amazing. Osai Vultures. Damn it. I still have this murder. I think it was good to start attacking. By the way, this guy started with 20 life. Divine Transformation. Dark creature gets plus three, plus three. So now that, that is a four, seven. That's a murder target. Murder. The vultures will get a carry encounter because something just died. Um, I can attack in for six damage, which is a lot. And then we're actually going to play Pillory of the Sleepless... 
Uh, I don't want to go God at all. So I play this now. It start getting into for some extra damage, potentially setting up lethal. I'm also not super afraid of it blocking. If it plays anything larger, I'd rather be able to disable that with Pillory of the Sleepless. Or I could just set up a 4 4 flyer. Yeah, I guess we'll set that up. Plays nothing. Great! So from there, I can put Pillar of the Sleepless onto the Osai Vultures. They can no longer block. I attack in for five damage, bringing down to one. And then at her upkeep, the Pillar of the Sleepless kills it. Give me the Sarah Angel! She's back! And in the deck! I'm actually super happy about that. That's It's silly, I know. Um, I, I like blue-white flyers. I'm not afraid to admit that. Oh, hell yeah. We're, we're, let's get her. Come on. Come on. Sarah Angel, 4-4 four, four, Flying Vigilance. I like how they updated to actually just say Vigilance now, instead of being like, creature attacking us causes this creature to tap. Uh, still want to fix my creature count a little bit if I play that. What? Hasn't been great. Um, I don't know. Maybe the Esper Stormblade, because he's at best a three-two. I mean, I like there's another artifact for the angler. But getting value out of him is pretty tough right now. There we go. Sarah Angel's back. And that seems like a really good place to end off this episode. Because, hell yeah. I'm super, super stoked about that. She's back, everybody. Well, that was a good episode. All successes. Hooray. I'm having such a good time. As always, thank you guys so very much for watching. See you next time.